Milton Go Transit users will no longer have to rely on the current service times or be forced to use other Go Transit services in Halton to get to and from work. And MP Adam Van Kuverden says the federal government is investing to help expand its services. For far too long, our trains have only been taking people to work for 9 o'clock in the morning and bring them back at 5 p.m. And that's just not flexible enough. There aren't enough trains. They're actually not reliable enough either. So today our government committed to paying upfront half of the cost of expanding GO Transit to uh, the Milton Line, which goes through Mississauga, uh, for both directions, all day GO Train service. And as Milton continues to be one of the fastest growing communities in Canada, Vancouverton says both directions all day train service is essential. Many Miltonians work in Mississauga and in Toronto, but it's also true that many Mississaugans and Torontonians work in Milton or want to work in Milton. Uh, so this is important for being able to get to work or home from work with flexible hours. So, uh, you know, we just got really good news about a Laurier campus here in Milton, which is fantastic news. Uh, but what needs to happen is people from Mississauga and Toronto need to be able to come into Milton without driving a car. Uh, university students don't all have cars and they won't all be able to live in Milton. So uh, this is just so important for the mobility of Miltonians, but also for the economy of Milton. It also helps cl fight climate change. We must become less reliant on our cars and rely more on public transit. And this is an investment that will get us closer to that goal. Although transit services are normally under provincial jurisdiction, the federal contribution will come from the National Trade Corridors Fund. The government invested an additional $1.9 billion to the fund, a quarter of which, Vancouverton says, has been committed to expanding GO Train service. And that's why we're seeing this investment here federally uh, for, for Miltonians. Uh, it will require participation from all levels of government. You're right. Metrolinx is, is a mostly provincial organization. So we do want the provincial government to come to the table. We've committed to pay for 50% of the project. That's up to about half a billion dollars. Uh, but that's an investment that's necessary in our future. It has to happen now. You know, there's that old adage, the best time to plant a tree is 50 years ago. Obviously, it would have been nice to go back 50 years and, and lay more track and, and invest more thoroughly in, in transit infrastructure. But this is what we can do today. We can invest today for tomorrow in the transit futures and climate change uh, remedial activities that uh, public transit will provide. For Halton News, I'm Melissa Candelaria.